We're at Day's arrival. One man at the table. He's eating cornflakes. He's checking out the paper. His brother walks in from a hard night's caper, half hung over and looking for his pager. What's in the news today? Did we find a savior? Nah, I'm just looking for some part-time labor. By the way, did you remember put the gas in my ride? Or must I remind you how I lost my last job? <laughs> Chill, baby bro. You know you need to start. Trust me, baby bro, that's what big brother's for. Uh-uh. I got interviews today, so don't even front about my broken gas gauge. By the way things are looking, it's a very good day. If I could ever find my wallet, I'll be on my way. Well, bigger brother steps to his girlfriend's place, and just then the phone rings, it was mom's to say. Remind your big brother it's your cousin's birthday, and I'ma need a half dozen eggs for the cake. No problem, moms, I'll tell him later in the day, but now I can't find my wallet, I gotta go. I'm late. Well, back to the saga. The car wouldn't start up. There he goes. Now he's rolling like a baller. Out of the city and into the woods for a job with a hammer where the pay is good. Reaches in the back seat for his favorite tape. Ugh. A condom from his brother's last date. Well, damn. My lazy no good brother. And just as he says it, the car starts to sputter and sputter until it outright stops. The gas tank empty. Not even a drop. I'm gonna choke that nigga when I reach my spot. Three nines for no place. And now I gotta walk to the top of the hill. And down again, round my band page, my brother from the old food stand. The phone ring rings. Yo, it's me, your big brother. I told you not to sweat me when I'm laying with my lover. What? You punk ass broke motherfucker. I told you cut the crap when it came to my endeavors. Chill, baby, bro. And don't even start it. There's a gallon in the trunk. And if you need more, Farted. <laughs> well, some of my shit, along with your lost wallet, is in the glove box, kid. The mystery's solving. So take what's yours and leave mine's where you saw it. My baby's calm. I gotta go. Stay solid. <laughs> well, so we hung up the phone in a rush to leave. I forgot to tell my brother about the cake recipe. <laughs> Star 69, so he pushed it in. But by now, the bigger brother was pursuing some skin. <laughs> the phone ring rings, don't answer it. It's my baby brother calling, fucking with me again. Uh, so he beeped him back a uh, one, two more times, but he was already naked with his Valentine. Well, damn, I got to get back to the ride. What the hell's going on with this damn mind? Once again, up the hill, down the other side. What the fuck's the cop doing snooping by my ride? You was. I'm running out of time. So I just ran out of gas and I'm running out of time. Slow down, boy. This ain't no race. I can tell you kind of people ain't from this place. Tell you what, turn around, put your hands on the hood, and you best act good, just like a good boy should. Yo, officer, hold on. I'm speaking the truth. See, I'm just trying to get through to this here job interview. Well, shut them lips, boy. And don't let them get no bigger. I'm gonna have to say I was attacked by a nigga. Now if you wanna make it through the morning with me, I suggest you wise up and show me valid ID. <sighs> Chill, man. All right, a problem, we solve it. My brother left my wallet in the glove box compartment. All right, you can get it, but you don't move quick. Just remember I'm behind you with a full He opens up the box and to their surprise, out pops the wallet and the bigger brother's nine. The cop shouts, freeze, raise your hand, kid. He reaches for the wallet and the cop goes, blam, damn. Pulp fiction in the car. Another dead homie trying to find a job. Mm -mm -mm. Back at the crib. Bigger brother laying up and girlfriend says, well, maybe you should give your little brother a call. And don't forget, it's your cousin's birthday after all. A wheel in the middle, please let me be. I think he left a message on my message machine. Bigger brother, I'm gonna be home late. And I'm afraid that my day hasn't been great. Can I remind you, if it's not too late, 
to get a half a dozen eggs for the birthday 